Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon. Can everybody hear me very clearly? Just raise your hands. Okay, cool. So first of all, thank you Terabase and thank you Chain Store Association of Pakistan for providing me this opportunity to take you through some of my thoughts on the matter. Uh, we've talked a lot about technology. We've talked a lot about uh, real estate and we've talked a lot about malls and activations and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about what happens in technology and what's the role of data is going to be. I'm going to keep it very, very simple. Day before yesterday, I found my 12-year-old um, niece. She was going through my phone and she was browsing a lot of these things that she wanted through my Facebook and my Instagram. And then I asked her, why are you actually doing it? So very simply she replied, Ke, if I'm going to do this, you're going to be delivered these targeted ads at the end of the day. And you may end up buying these products from me. So that's how communication is being reshaped by digital in the, in the current day and age in Pakistan and globally as well. So let's just very quickly have a look at how the social media landscape looks like in Pakistan. So I'm bought sari baat kar rahe hain, real estate ki. We've talked a lot about what's happening in the in the malls and you know access to the consumer. Social media is one place that gives you access to consum consumers and customers throughout the day. 24/7 you have access to these customers. At least 71 million of these people sitting out on social media platforms in Pakistan. Uh, the biggest social media platform we have in the country is YouTube. Then we have Facebook and very recently we've seen the rise of platforms like um, Instagram and you know, TikTok and Snapchat. What's important to understand is the fact that a lot of us, a lot of our brands are there on social media. A lot of these brands are using Instagram. A lot of these brands are actually using Facebook and so on and so forth. What's really important to understand is the fact all these platforms need to have a specific role as part of your uh, you know, marketing journey or as part of your marketing efforts. So gone are the days when we used to have a one size fits all social media strategy that we have made a Facebook page, we have made an Instagram profile and all the things that we are Facebook, we will replicate all of that on our Instagram profile at the end of the day. That's, that's not how it happens. Uh, you're catering to a very diverse set of audiences. You're talking about Gen Z, you're talking to you know, millennials, you're talking to higher age brackets as well. And all of these people have different and very varied needs uh, during their online consumer journey. And how this online consumer journey looks like is something that you need to ponder upon while devising your social media strategies. Or if for that matter, if I'm talking to millennials, then probably at the end of the day, I'll uh, you know, make Instagram a part of my strategy. So it's very important for brands to sort of understand what's the purpose of which platform that they're going to deliver through their marketing strategy to the consumers. Then comes the content bit. Hum kya karte and what we as advertisers and as brands and marketeers, what we tend to do is we adopt a very uh, one size fits all strategy like I, uh, like I mentioned before. That's not really the way to go when it comes to modern day consumers and when it comes to modern day advertising on social media. So you have to be very careful in sort of understanding these platforms and the user behavior on these platforms. So for instance, I'm going on YouTube. I'm probably looking for entertainment. So your content needs to be entertainment driven at the end of the day. Or for that matter, if I am looking for uh, something on Facebook, my behavior m might be completely different to what I'm doing on YouTube. So you need to again adapt and you need to sort of change your uh, content strategy at the end of the day based on these platforms. Then, We've talked about a lot about real estate. We've talked a lot about uh, malls and stores. What's really important to understand is your social space or your social media channels are also your storefronts. And these are the biggest uh, real estates for you, the digital real estate, I would call it, that you can get at any given point in time to target your consumers. 
Uh, Surprisingly, we've also talked about e-commerce a lot, but nobody touched upon the fact that social commerce is the way to go moving forward because the user is actually spending most of their time online on these social media platforms. So the social media actually acts as a mall for your brand, right? And the more effort you put in to make your content look good, make your, <clears throat> your uh, advertising initiatives look good, the more there are chances that you'll end up redirecting those consumers to your, to your um, social platforms. And eventually from there, you will be, um, you know, that will eventually lead to your sales. So it's really important for us to sort of understand that where the discovery for the consumer is happening. So for instance, in US, TikTok has become the largest search engine. And it has overtaken Google in contribution to searches for Gen Z audiences. So it's also important to understand that in Pakistan, this trend actually exists, uh, especially after the advent of COVID and during COVID, a lot of people started searching for these products and uh, goods online on these social platforms. So that, that behavior has sort of changed. So in order to be discoverable to the consumer, in order to be available to the consumer, it's really important for us to understand the role of social media and how we can sort of uh, utilize our channels as a real estate for ourselves and eventually use them for social commerce to drive sales for our brands. Then, <clears throat> with all these social platforms coming up, we've got YouTube, we've got uh, Facebook, we've got Instagram and TikTok and whatnot, it's also really important to understand who the modern day consumer is getting influenced by. And the modern day consumer is actually relying a lot on these influencers, a lot of these key opinion leaders that they um, sort of, uh, you know, get influenced by. I tell this to a lot of my clients, I tell this to a lot of the brands that we work with, be it the technology space, be it the FMCG space or anything like that. Um, you, you, gone are the days when jab ek celebrity ko dekh ke log jo hain, wo kehte thai ke achha ji hum isse influence honge. An influencer sitting online with a follower base of 2,000 people can be more influential than somebody like Mahira Khan to a certain set, set of audience. So it's really, really important for brands to understand the use of social media, the need of using these influencers on their social platforms. And HG, especially with respect to the uh, retail industry, what I've seen over the period of time is that a lot of these, a lot of you brands actually focus on very hardcore branded content with influencers. That certainly doesn't really work when it comes to influencer marketing. What needs to happen is you need to sort of build a storytelling approach towards your marketing initiative. And in the following slide, I'm going to take you, uh, uh, take you through a few videos of how some of the international brands are doing it. And those examples are pretty much best in class in how influencer marketing should be done. What we see uh, in Pakistan with fashion brands specifically is that as Khadi probably at the end of the day and uh, you know, you'll take an influencer on board and you'll make that influencer make your Khadi uh, ka joda and at the end of the day, you will make, make an endorsement out of it. That, that, that is not certainly the way to do influencer marketing. Uh, these are just some of the examples I'm going to take you through in the next slide. So it's all about giving them an experience of the brand with the favorite influencer that they have. Uh, one thing that has recently started happening with respect to influencer marketing globally is these influencers are actually being used to sell your products from their own platforms. That is something that is certainly not happening in Pakistan and it's something that we need to sort of focus on 
as uh, especially as retail brands because these examples are actually going to show you how that is being done globally. and it's true a sense uh, and lastly we have this other video i'm going to take you through if it plays yeah It's all about creating that aspiration for your consumers and at the end of the day it's all about creating that memorable experience for your uh, uh, for your consumers so it all boils down to the fact that what sort of social or what sort of online experience is that we are creating for our consumers and it's really important to understand the importance of social listening because that is something that is going to give you data that is something that is going to give you insights in your consumers minds we need to constantly listen to what they are thinking what they are saying and what their perception is about our products and services and at the end of the day all of this is going to lead us to actionable insights now these actionable insights can be turned into at the end of the day a new range for a fashion brand or for that matter a new product category altogether for any retail brand in pakistan and this is something that globally brands are doing day in day in and day out and it's it's something that we as pakistani brands are actually kind of lagging behind and need to sort of focus on and lastly um uh, it's all about providing them a 24/7 customer care experience because as brands we a lot of times focus on through our social channels ke ji subah 9 baje se sham 6 baje tak hum jawab denge customer ka but there are ways of and there are tools available and with the advent of uh, these uh, bots and all it's really important to provide these customers with a 24/7 customer care experience because that is something that they demand from you and in order to be a customer centric brand in order to have a customer centric approach towards your marketing initiatives with respect to social media and specific it's really important to think about how you can deliver the right experience to your cons consumers and based on these experiences you need to continuously sort of customize and personalize based on consumer needs so yeah thank you so much hopefully the session was insightful for all of you